The evolution of medicine stretches throughout the recorded history of mankind. In the Paris Medical School, there's a room devoted to the history of medicine, a real treat full of artifacts from ancient times and up through the mid-20th century. Asclepius, half-mortal son of Zeus, was the Greek god of medicine. Hippocrates, considered the father of medicine, healed with words, herbs, and knives. The Eye of Horus is an ancient Egyptian symbol of protection, royal power, and good health. Gallic oculus were famous. They removed cataracts and cured with elaborate eye washes. Hippocrates, who lived from 460 to 377 BC, founded clinical medicine, laying the foundations of medical ethics. At the University of Medicine of Paris, the first dissection was performed in 1407. It was at that time very difficult to obtain corpses for medical instruction. Anatomy lessons were actually considered as sacrilegious violations and aimless cruelties inflicted by the living on the dead. In 1686, King Louis XIV needed emergency surgery. It was successful, and from then on, the king put his trust in surgeons. The foundation of the Royal Academy of Surgery in 1731 allowed the surgeons to separate themselves from barbers, with whom they had been united in the same guild since 1660. Here are examples of urological procedures. The urologist will insert these long instruments through the penis into the bladder to extract stones. Wow, that must have been painful.
next time you're in Paris, take a few hours to enjoy the Museum of the History of Medicine, found in the downtown area of Paris. Mm -hmm.